Hey guys, welcome back. In this short video, we're going to talk about the licensing of Genesis product. Now, sometimes as an engineer, we may not be involved in licensing, but having knowledge about the licensing obviously will help us A, communicate to the client properly, B, obviously find out the restrictions that we might have when we're trying to configure certain things, right? Well, here, we're gonna give you a little bit overview about the licensing. So Collaborate license is usually free for the users. So if you are getting an access to Genesis, your Collaborate license is free. However, Communicate will require a license to run. So does the Contact Center. Now, the Contact Center license comes in about uh, five different flavors. You have CX1, CX2, CX3, and Genesis Choices, Genesis DX. CS1 uh, license, which offer features for organizations that require basic voice-based uh, support in their contact center. So if your organization really needs just a very basic features, no, no fancy social media stuff or omni-channel or stuff like that, then you just simply get a CX1 license for that. Now the Genesis C, uh, Cloud CX2, which offers features for organization that requires additional uh, feature like multi-channel. Now, when I talk about multi-channel, we're excluding the social media. So in CX2, for example, uh, multi-channel is supported, but no social media is included. All right. So in this scenario, you will have voice, chat, maybe uh, SMS, but you will not have things like Facebook or integrations with uh, Twitter and whatnot. Now, this is what the CX... Uh, to provide. CX3, on the other hand, will provide all the multi-channel, including social media, along with WFM, which is your workforce management. Now, the workforce management is a vital for many organizations because they use this for quality management, uh, scheduling, agent, removing agent, uh, you know, kind of like a planner, uh, kind of like a contact center planning management, planner. So if your company does record those features, uh, you, you, you have to get the CX3. Uh, now, keep in mind that you cannot simply say, well, okay, I don't want the social media, I want the CX3. If you get the bundle CX3, even though you'll get social media, regardless if you use it or not. Now you have the next one's called Genesis Choice. Genesis Choice provide organization with a new level of flexibility and a control allowing them to optimize their annual spend with Genesis. So with this package, you can purchase and consume, consume a Genesis C, a Cloud CX, Genesis Multi-Cloud CX solution with a single annual commitment. There are no maintenance charge or commitment based on the peak uses. Now with Genesis Choice, depending on your needs, you can roll out new features and capability and respond, respond more quickly to unplanned events. You can also swap, uh, swap between the different solutions. For example, you can swap a portion of voice traffic to new dig digital channel. Throughout, the con throughout your contract, whether, whether it is a one year, two year, you will have access to all the Genesis capability, artificial intelligence like AI, innovations, and the future, uh, any future features that are included. So think about Genesis Choice is a bit more flexible than the other three uh, bundles we just talked about. So if it is something that you want to control your own way, like what feature you get in the, what features that you get in the future, well, in that case, you want to go with Genesis Choices for that matter. Then you have the last licensing concept is called the DX. Genesis DX is the digital customer engagement offering. Now, this helps organization understand the customer needs and their predict, predict the customer's intent. Now, by enhancing a digital capability, Genesis takes uh, the lead in providing omni-channel solutions that include AI-based assistance messaging. It basically, we're talking about the chat bot. Like, you know, new, the chat, the bot is trying to understand the intent of the customer. Based on that, it is either communicating with a live agent, chat, or email, or route the call to a live agent based on the customer's intent. So when a customer comes onto your website or they call in, 
Um, sometimes you, uh, instead of wasting a lot of time, you're just trying to understand what the customer wants based on what they type, and you kind of give them the solutions. Okay, maybe the customer wants this and this and this. So this is like, for example, if I am searching for, uh, I don't know, let's say uh, Windows product, the bot might say, okay, are you looking for price? Are you looking for invoicing? Are you looking for information? Are you looking for the, you give a bunch of uh, messages in advance. So it's kind of like a, a more advanced AI assisted messaging channel. Now it does collaborate and communicate, uh, which are part of the communication component of the Genesis. A simple organization can use the Genesis Cloud CX Collaborate and communication feature as a communication system. Now to use any contact center feature, you must subscribe to one of these three licenses, CS1, 2, 3, in, uh, if, let's say to begin with. Now we have to configure the collaboration communicate component of for your Genesis Cloud Contact Center. That's, the, that's something that you have to do first. It is important to note that before you configure the contact center component, you must configure the collaborate and communicate component first. So for that, you need to make sure that you have the necessary license for that. Now, Genesis Cloud CX plan. The following are some of the plan options that are available. Now, you can get select, uh, you can select the option that best suit your business needs. You can get a plan based on named user, by, by the hour pricing, or concurrent licensing. Named user is a billable named user is anyone who's logged into Genesis Cloud service at least once during a billing period. A user type build is the highest level license that they were assigned during your billing period. Then you have bill uh, by the hour pricing plan. By the hour pricing plan allows businesses to choose Genesis Cloud and only pay for the hours that they use. Now, it can be good model for farm that many uh, that that many part-time users or very uh, spiky intra-month peak where user may need to be only available for a few days or a few hours then you just go for that for example let's say in a generally uh, last week of the month you need more agent because always a uh, uh, last um, week of the month is a sudden spike of the customer calls then you can say, okay, I'm going to go by the hour in that scenario during those last week. I will pay a little bit more, but any other time when the call is usually not that uh, busy, I will pay a little bit less. Now the concurrent license, which is uh, concurrent license users are supported only for Genesis CX 1, 2, and 3 plan. Uh, if, you, if concurrent license model is selected, all Genesis Cloud CX user are licensed as a concurrent. Now, CX does not support a mixed name and concurrent user type at this moment. Now, in a concurrent licensing model, Genesis charge for the maximum number of concurrent simultaneous user during a business period. Now, it supports a shift change, uh, use peak shorter, uh, shorter than 30 minute in duration that are dis disregarded, disregarded. The charges reflect the highest Genesis Cloud level license that user were assigned during the billing period. So let's say uh, normally you have 20 users, right? So you're using 20 users at a time. Suddenly, 15th of the month, there are 30 users. You have to log in 30 users. So your concurrent will be that 30 because that's the highest uh, number of users logged in at a certain period of time. Now, if the uh, user pick shorter than 30 minutes, then those th th that will not be correct uh, uh, counted. But if they're more than 30 minutes, then doing, if, even if it is for one day, you go 30 user, concurrent user, then you will be billed for that amount. Concurrent is a license that can essentially be shared. Now, these licenses are invoiced based on the peak number of user active on the platform within the billing cycle. An example, for example, uh, for suppose a customer has an agent who works in a consecutive shift, consecutive, consecutive shift. In that case, first shift works from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Second shift works from 3 p.m. to midnight. Now, they can use a concurrent license because only part of the workforce is active, right? I mean, one shift at a time on any platform given time, which saves the customer money because you're not paying for two agent uh, simultaneously you're paying for one concurrent AI license where uh, one user logs in during certain time and then you have another use uh, that user logs out then you have another user logs in in the evening 
So you're not paying for two uh, two uh, licenses. You're paying for one license, but the license is shared between the two share. So that's what uh, that's one of the examples for concurrent licensing. Now the additional license that you have or add-on that you can get within your uh, licensing capability would be the AI and the digital. You can add AI add-on to your Genesis Cloud CX2 and 3, but not on one. So it, can, it the AI license is only available to CX2 and CX3 license. To access cloud-based AI-powered uh, cu customer engagement solutions. Now this solution analyzes visitors' behavior on website and predict the outcome the visitor is trying to achieve. For example, let's say you go to Voice Bootcamp website, right? And my uh, somehow the Genesis, if I have integrated with it, is monitoring your activity. And I noticed that you went to the contact uh, us information page a couple of times, but you haven't filled out anything yet. So Genesis can take an action based on that and say, okay, uh, would you like to chat with someone? So that would be an AI-based uh, uh, behavior monitoring. Then you have digital, where you can upgrade your subscription that include digital channel. Now this is only available to uh, CX2 and CX3 license. Now with Genesis uh, CX1 license, you can add users to email, chat, web message channels by upgrading Genesis CX1, uh, CX user one, digital upgrade one or you can access email chat and all messaging channel that is web messaging and third-party messaging sms uh, open message by upgrading the user one to digital upgrade two okay so if you're upgrading from let's say a user to email chat and web message you got to take the user one and upgrade to digital upgrade one Whereas if you want to upgrade to uh, from a user to, let's say, uh, cloud messaging, web messaging, third-party messaging, SMS, open messaging, then you have to take the CS user one and use up digital upgrade two. So if you wish to access email, chat, all messaging channel with CX2 license, you can upgrade the user uh, user one to digital upgrade two. So those are the couple of channel options. Again, yeah, to learn more about the licensing options, um, you want to talk to your Gen uh, Genesis sales account. They have a better, uh, I guess, uh, explanation in terms of charting and whatnot. That will give you a clear picture. Workforce management with Genesis 1, uh, CS1, CX1, and CX2 license. You can add the w uh, WFM or workforce management to upgrade your subscription that will include this feature. Now the subscription allow access to Genesis. Uh, this feature is built into your CS3 license already. All right, so that's the overview about the licensing of Genesis 3, Genesis 3, uh, sorry, Genesis Cloud. Genesis Cloud has five different licensing models. You got the CX1, CX2, CX3. You got the choice and then DX. Then you have an add-on feature, uh, so your users can be licensed based on named user license um, by hourly uh, pricing or by concurrent users. And then you the add-on, you can add AI-based license or a digital uh, upgrade to the digital messaging capability that you have. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video.